Hey, how's it going guys? Austin, More Skills Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about Go Go Town. This is the game that I've been getting into lately. Uh, I'm about three hours into the game. Kind of just want to talk about my thoughts, what I think about the game. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying the game mm -hmm. so far. This game kind of reminds me of kind of like a, an older tycoon game with like Animal Crossing graphics. It is a city management, uh, city builder game. Uh, as you can see, I'm the mayor right now, and I'm currently picking up some trash. I'm hoping later in the game I can automate this, because the mayor should not be picking up trash. Like, that should not be the mayor's job. But, once you're first into the game, and you're just starting, you kind of have to wear all the hats. This thing right here is called your Ego Tech. And this is where you can, uh, unlock things to, like, customize your town, and uh, you can unlock things for like mining and fishing and uh, forestry. So you gotta make sure you put this stuff in the right zones too. When I was first starting, I had no idea how to even get planks or bricks. And it turns out all I had to do was walk over here to the forestry zone. You'll see like this little tree right here. I'll let you know you're in a forestry zone. Um, if you're just starting the game, you'll have like a little agent dude over here and you just like talk to them. But pretty simple, you just kind of like add stuff to the table saw. And it will be under, yeah, table saw. So it'll be like under forestry zone. Which like each zone will have like their little icon, right? I love being able to like just pick up the chainsaw and you can just like harvest trees and get logs. This game in a way, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Dinkum in that kind of aspect. Cause I know like Dinkum, you uh, had power tools kind of similar to this. Yeah, then you just get all the wood and you can just put your table saw, put your, <laughs> put your chainsaw back and uh, basically just kind of add some items to it. And this will make planks for you. These things over here are kind of like your storage. You can like store anything you want over here. We got the table. Uh, the wood is about ready, so we'll go ahead and collect the wood. Another thing that I like in this game is you can ride around on like this little skateboard, which is really cool. Uh, it's it's a little a uh, little hard to like ride it sometimes. It took me a little while to kind of like figure that out. But basically, like, how to start making money in this game, you gotta have, like, shops and stuff. And you have to make sure that your so your shops are, like, stocked up with, uh, things. See, uh, this shop right here, it's like a, uh, kind of like a, a donut. Like an eat-and-go shop. And I have to, like, make sure this thing right here is stored with donuts. Or I guess they're called go dot. They're called, like, go dots or something. So we'll go ahead and get some stuff for that. We'll just uh, ride over here to the forestry zone on my skateboard. There we go. And you can get your uh, your donuts over here. So we'll go ahead and stock that up. Now I'm hoping like as I progress more, you can get like more of an inventory space because you can't really hold a whole lot. Um, before you unlock storage, you can actually store things into, like, your, uh, vehicles. See, there's a vehicle right over here. You can, like, store things right here. But, yeah, we'll go ahead and store this, uh, beat and go up. Now, this shop over here, this is kind of like a, uh, kind of like a gift shop. But, uh, basically, you can store, like, wood and, like, rocks. And if you store rocks over here, you'll get, like, a pet rock. Well, I guess he'll start selling pet rocks. But it's pretty cool, because, like, you can actually invite people to your town, and then you can, like, make them manage your shops for you. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll see if we can get someone to join our town. Maybe if, before he leaves. <laughs> see if he'll give me the option. It will give me the option. We'll go ahead and hit invite. And basically, once you invite somebody, you can just, like, build a house for them. And we'll send this guy over here. His roommate's uh, Anya. He'll probably like that. This is my large storage right here. So you can store a bunch of things over here. Now, I just unlocked the farming zone and the fishing zone. I don't know too much about that. Literally just unlocked it. I guess seeds are already there. We'll go ahead and plant some uh, potatoes, maybe. Plant some strawberries. 
And down over here we have the uh, the fishing zone where you can like do some fishing. See if I can catch anything. Fishing's really, really easy. Octo worse. I don't think I've caught that yet. But it's really easy to make money in this game, and I noticed, like, for some reason, I can only make, like, 500 gold. Like, I can't make more than 500 gold, it seems like. I don't know if that's just, like, hidden behind a, pa a progression wall, but... Hey, kid. Well done. You're moving up in the ranks. Time to book your, uh, challenge. Yeah, you have, like, these, uh, money challenges and stuff. Let's see here. Calendar. We'll schedule a, a money challenge. Okay, I think I just did it. Still taking me a little while to get used to like the UI and stuff. And basically to like move your town up to like the next rank, you have to complete these uh, money challenges. See, my next money challenge to increase my town to rank two, I have to earn 250 coins, which that should be pretty easy. I've been earning 500 at a time. I have to build a forestry zone clock and a mining zone clock and build a seafood converter let's try to build that clock what do we got forestry clock costs 65 gold we'll just put that right over here i have no idea what this thing does so let's see what it does higher maybe maybe oh so i can actually like i think i know what this does now i can maybe schedule people to work here and this kind of automates it for me that's got to be what, what, it, what it does. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it does. That's cool. We'll go ahead and stock up the market. We'll put some uh, fish in there. Let's go ahead and build that clock. Maybe. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have it unlocked yet. I have to unlock it first. So let's go to my ego and see if it lets me... Yeah, okay. We have enough ego points, we'll go ahead and get the automation for mining, and that should unlock the clock. <laughs> yep. Now we will go ahead and build it. Put it right over here. And let's see if we can uh, put someone over here. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Did, did I click on the right thing? I might have clicked on the wrong thing. Let's go ahead and delete this. Alright, let's try this again. Here we go. Put it right over here. And we're gonna hire... Do we have a worker available? We do. We'll put Mango over here. So Mango is gonna work in the mining section. Let's go ahead and... Build a seafood converter. It's right over here. Set recipe. Okay, so I can actually use my Octo Worse to like make a sausage or something. I can also do protein. All right. Let's see if this is what I need. Okay, yes, we got two octopus things. We'll go ahead and add that and see we should get a sausage or whatever all right we'll go ahead and can i take it all right take and whenever you have like a bunch of trash you basically just gotta you gotta go to the dump or you gotta build like a dump i don't know if that's exactly what it's called but it's this thing over here and you can just throw all your trash in this thing garbage disposal and you gotta like empty all these trash cans out which can be a little tedious like I mentioned earlier, hopefully I can automate that later on. Should be able to, I would think. You can actually sit on your furniture. <laughs> so, check this out. You can actually sit on the bench. That's cool. But basically, like, whenever the train arrives, that's, like, your time to either invite people to your town uh also you know you get pedestrians that come and they'll buy things so it's also a good time to like make money now so far i've only unlocked houses that can fit two townies in one house so maybe as i progress more we'll be able to like have a bigger house to fit more people 
but building a house is relatively easy. You just gotta get two bricks and two planks. So we'll go ahead and we will do that. We will go ahead and build a house. Now we'll check on our worker right here. She seems to have logs in her backpack. That, that is so nice. She just put logs in a table saw for me. I literally don't have to gather the logs myself. So nice being able to automate this. Let's go ahead and check on our uh, little mining buddy worker, whatever. Seems like he's got some stuff done. He's got the bricks for me. Okay, we'll go ahead and insert the planks and the bricks. And now we will cut the ribbon. Booyah. And you guys already know the next step. We gotta find some townies to move in. In order to invite Felicia, we must build a, graf a graffler ride. So I need to get the, um, the starter decoration, which has the graffler ride. We'll place it uh, right over here. I actually don't see her, so she probably left. Maybe she'll come back again? I don't know. Yeah, this dude's loving the new uh, Graffler ride. And so if I want Sandra to move in, I have to pay a hundred coins. It sounds a little desperate. All right, so Wendy just wants to have a town bench, so we already have that. So let's go ahead and invite Wendy. And we'll put Wendy right over here. Boom. Oh, Felicia's back. Let's go ahead and invite Felicia back to our town. Boom. I, f I figured she'd be back. And we will put her right over here. We need 10 more coins to beat the challenge. So, there we go. We just beat the challenge. So whenever you like rank up in your town, you unlock more goodies, like you unlock more shops, decorations, etc, etc, so let's go ahead and see what we unlocked. We'll go to our ego tech. Let's go ahead and get the garbage collection service. Bam. So there's actually a town clock that generates a small amount of ego. So you get like ego without doing anything. That's cool. Also a house for four townies. I guess we'll go ahead and get that too. So this must be where the trash people will work. Nice. We will just put that like right over here for right now. Can't believe it's taking me this long to do this. Well, let's go ahead and go mine for some ignots. Or ingots. Ignots, not ignots. I can't even talk today. All right, metal mining node. There we go. The mine is also where you can get mushrooms too. If you ever need mushrooms. So we can get metal ignits by uh, changing the recipe and putting metal nodes in this uh, machine. So let's go ahead and add some items. Boom. And it looks like whenever your town gets to the next level, you can actually make more money. Because before, we could only make 500 gold, and now we can make up to 750 gold. Okay, we'll go ahead and insert the metal ingots. Boom. Now we need to get some planks. I should already, I should already have some planks. Insert these over here. Boom. I am so pumped. This means I never have to pick up trash again. Booyah. Alright, who's gonna work here? Who's gonna be the trash lady or man? Joe? Joe sounds like that's the perfect name for a trash yeah. duty guy. Dude, can I, I, I can ride the track bike. <laughs> oh, nice. I think the bike's a little bit easier to ride than the skateboard is. 
But yeah guys, that's Go Go Town, just a game that I've been enjoying at the moment. And let me know if you want to see more uh, Go Go Town content. And I'll catch you later. See you next video. Bye.